All right. Hey guys, how's it going? It's Joy. I'm back again with another video. I hope that you guys are doing, they have to be cunning and they have to do all these things. Um, so that way in their mind, they can manipulate whoever their target is or whoever their victim is into thinking that, you know, that they have power over them, right? Or they have control over them. You get what I'm saying? But in actuality, whoever their victim is or whoever their target is, they are the one that they are the ones that actually has the power. And I think a lot of times, some times those particular victims, um, you know, and targets, maybe they don't realize that they have the power, but they actually do. So when you claim your power, the narcissists, they don't have anything on you, right? They don't have any power against you or they, they can't control you or they can't manipulate you. You get what I'm saying? Maybe they've done that before in the past and maybe you didn't recognize it or maybe someone else didn't recognize it. But just remember that you have the power, you know? And the reason why I'm saying this is because no one can make you do anything you don't want to do, right? No one can make you feel a way about yourself that you don't feel, right? No one can make you say anything that you don't want to say, right? Or no one can make you um, behave in a way that, you know, is not right for you. You get what I'm saying? But the narcissist can maybe trick you into thinking that that's the case. Or they, like I said, can manipulate it. They can, you know, twist it, flip it, you know, have other people get involved or whatever the case may be, you know, to make it seem like something that it's not. But, um yeah, I, I guess I'm just saying this is just to remind you is to keep your power. Know that, you know, you are in control over yourself, right? And no one else, you know what I'm saying? And that's just something I just want you guys to remember. Now, I guess this is leading up to the point where you have to always understand the importance of healing, right? You have to understand or know the value and the... um the benefits of healing, right? You have to understand the importance of doing your shadow work, right? You have to understand your importance of being aware of, you know, these type of situations or these type of individuals and how they can manipulate you, right? How they can try to use your energy against you or how they can try to use other people against you or they could try to target you or abuse you or harass you, stalk you or blackmail you or whatever the case may be, you know, or gossip, slander, who knows, you know? So, you know, you just, just keep that in mind, right? And, you know, again, you only have control over yourself. You don't have control over the narcissist. You don't have control over what it is that they're doing, any flying monkeys or any other family members or extended person personas or whether it be colleagues, it may be friends, it could be, you know, neighbors, other relatives and things like that. You don't have control over them, right? But all of them would would, would want to have control over you. But you have to remember that, that, you know, you don't allow anyone to have control over you. You don't allow anybody else to have power over you except for yourself, right? And except for God. Like, God is number one. You get what I'm saying? But other than that, you have to keep the power. You have to keep the control. You know what I'm saying? And I know it can be difficult in the world that we live in, unfortunately, due to the fact that there are um, manipulative people out there, people that are resentful, people that are bitter, angry, just miserable. You get what I'm saying? And, you know, as you can see, they've given their power away. You you get what I'm saying? And that's just not something that you want to do. And, and I've always said this in my videos many, many years ago. And this is why I always urge people, especially if you know you're dealing with a narcissist or let's say it's your parent that's a narc or let's say it's an in-law. Maybe you feel like you can't escape this person or you feel like they're always there or you feel like, you know, you feel obligated in some way or you feel guilt or some sort of fear coming up. Um, you just got to remember that um, you have to do what's best for you right? Regardless of how anybody else feels, regardless of how, what anybody thinks, or regardless of like what anyone says, like you have to remember that, you know, you have the power, you know, now the thing is, 
when you have the power, you have to know how to handle that power. You get what I'm saying? So you don't want to misuse it like how a narcissist would do, right? Oh, and I, I guess that was the other point is when you are around a narcissist, right? You have to be careful because what they're trying to do is they're trying to make you just like them. So for those of you that have parents that are narcs or in-laws that are narcs or maybe for some could have kids that are narcissists or like teenagers or, you know, young adults or whatever the case may be, you have to be very, very careful that you don't begin to pick up their negative um, behaviors. You know what I'm saying? You don't uh, pick up, you don't begin to pick up their toxic um, addictions, their toxic attitudes, their toxic ways of relating and, you know, connections or friendships or whatever the case may be. You have to be very, very careful around these individuals, right? You have to really, like I said, you have to stand up for yourself. You have to assert yourself. You have to be brave. You have to be bold. You have to be courageous. And I know that it's not, that's easier said than done, right? Because a lot of times, like I said, some people, they just don't want to offend anybody or they don't want to step on anybody's toes or, you know, um, they, some people just feel like, you know, um, they just want things to be a certain way, but you have to remember that you are important, right? Your mental health is very important. Your emotional health is very important. Your psychological health is very important. And when you are in these toxic environments or when you are around these toxic individuals or these toxic influences, it could really cause you to go down the wrong path. It could really cause you to miss out on um, you know, healthy connections, or it could cause you, it could steer you in the wrong direction, basically. And it could cause for you to live a life of misery, right? It could cause you to live, it could cause you to make bad decisions. Um, it could cause you to miss out on life. Like, you know, with some narc parents, they try to stop their children from moving on, or they try to stop their parent, they try to stop their children from having other relationships and, they, they want to hold back their children because they don't want their children to outdo them or, you know, because in the narcissist's mind, again, they're all about power, control and competition. So they feel like, you know, if you are their child, they feel like you're a threat. Right. They, they feel like, you know, you may try to outdo them or something like that. You know, the, the narcissist is not thinking about love. They're always thinking about you know, they're trying to conquer something or they're trying to win something or, you know, they have to beat something. You get what I'm saying? Like they, nothing about a narc is about love. It's all about manipulation. It's all about control, power, um, conquering and ex exploitation and, you know, jealousy, hate, envy. And you know what I'm saying? Like nar the narcissist is not a, a good person, right? They're, they're not a happy person. There is nothing about them is like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how to say it, but they're just not good. And I, I'm not here to judge anybody because I'm not perfect. But I do know for a fact when it comes to dealing with a narcissist, it's nothing good comes from it. And I'm pretty sure if you're listening to this, if you're watching this, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've been around these individuals. You've had experiences with these people. You've seen the mask slip. You've seen the demon come out, you know, and stuff like that. And that's what it is. I mean, it's you know, and, um, you know, we, it's, it's that kind of thing where we kind of have to trust it when we see it the first time around, you get what I'm saying? And I know you may be one of those type of people where you're just like, oh, you know, like, I know they messed up or it was a mistake and they came back around and apologized and stuff like that. And da, 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 you know, but that is another form of manipulation, especially if the behavior doesn't change, you get what I'm saying, you know, but, um, nonetheless, yeah, you, you just really want to be careful, you know, um, you, you don't want to become like these individuals. So that's why you're having your boundaries is very important. That's why um, speaking up and standing up for yourself and just being very um, consistent and stern on your decisions and stern on your boundaries and stern on being able to assert yourself and speak what it is and then just let it go. And then when a boundary is crossed, then, you know, you have to kind of move forward accordingly and, you know, just keep, keep up what it is that you're doing, whatever that may be. Right. So, you know, just like a kid, like, let's say you're a parent and, you know, you've told your child like, Hey, Hey, son or daughter, like, you know, you're not supposed to do this. And then the child does it anyway. You know, you have to 
you have to let them know what the consequences are. And so that way, hopefully they won't do it again. But when, you know, when you're dealing with a narcissist, you know, they're just, they, they don't follow that. So, you know, you just, you got to be careful with that, you know? So, um, but anyway, you guys, I hope that this made sense. Um, and then, but yeah, just, just remember again, keep your power, take your power back. So let's say if you feel like you have given your power over to the narcissist, or you feel like you've been manipulated or you've been tricked or you've been abused or, you know, you feel like you was betrayed or lied to take your power back. You know what I'm saying? Just realize like who you are, realize like your worth, realize your value. And like I said, even if it's a parent, you got to distance yourself. If it's, you know, an in-law, you got to talk to your partner about what's going on. Or, you know, if it's an associate, it could be a colleague, do what's best for you. You know, you, you have to be able to protect yourself. Like I said, right, you have to protect your mind, your emotions, your thoughts, and anybody disturbing you, anybody distracting you, anybody um, trying to intrude in on your mental health or intrude in on your peace of mind and intrude in on your happiness you just gotta like look at it and see it for what it is you know i know it may be difficult to look at it you know i know sometimes we may try to distract ourselves with other things but you know you, you gotta live in a reality base you gotta you gotta live in what you see and what it is versus how you want it to be or how it used to be or how you know, maybe the narcissist is trying to come off as if it's a certain way, but it's really not. You get what I'm saying? So, um, you know, you just want to be mindful of that. And um, yeah, that's that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about, you guys. Um, another quick topic, though, maybe we can save this for a part two for um, next week. But I, I wanted to talk about karma, though. It's just being mindful because I actually did get this as a comment on a live that I did. The person was just saying that um, they said that, where did it go here? Hold on. Let me go back. Let's go back and see here. And make sure that you guys do give this video a like, share, subscribe, share it with someone you think it can help and bless them. But let's see here. Um, one second. There was a message here I wanted to share with you all. It was regarding... Hold on. Where did it go? Wait, let me... I think it was on another video here. Hold on one second, you guys. I think it... Okay, there we go. It was something about how the narcissists, um, when they're dealing with their karma... Um, like their, their bad karma that they accumulate um, because of all the, the horrific things that they do and um, the destructive things that they do and how it not only impacts them, but it would impact you as well, especially if you are, you know, connected to that individual in any way, or maybe you may have a soul tie with that individual. Um, maybe it could have happened during intimacy or you may have a trauma bond with that individual if it's like if it's your parent or if it's an in-law and stuff like that if you shared different um things in your life life experiences that impacted you that where you felt hurt betrayed or taken advantage of or mistreated in any way you know um you know that can have an impact on how karma could come back because the thing is is that as i always tell you guys karma is real, right? And I, I kind of wanted to get into that definition because I, I'm I don't know if everybody knows about that or people, you know, um, you know, have kind of went deeper into that topic there. But I think it is important to bring it up. But yeah, just understand energy and also understand connections. You have to understand, um, you know, when an individual does something um, that's like not good or if it's horrific or it's like in god's eyes it would be seen as an like as a, almost like a criminal act right or it could be like a um like an offense to god like you know because god's always god's the judge not me not anybody else but in god's eyes like let's say if the narcissist does something against you and god deems it as like it's horrific to in God's eyes, right? Like let's say maybe the, the narcissist lied on you or they lied to you 
or they lied about you, or they betrayed you or something, or mistreated you in any way, they accumulate bad karma. You get what I'm saying? And if you are around that individual, or you have any connections with them, or whatever the case may be, you would get some of their bad karma, right? Or if, let's say if they have done something to you and you react or you have a, um, an emotional response to whatever the narcissist has done to you, you automatically get in, you automatically become a part of their bad karma. So that's not something that you want to do, you know, um, because again, whatever the narcissist has coming for them, it's not good. You get what I'm saying? So you just want to be careful about that. You know what I mean? Um, you know, that's actually something that I had to learn many, many years ago um, regarding that. But let, let's talk about karma. And like I said, we'll, we'll talk about this more on Sunday. But um, basically, karma, it says that um, the Hinduism and Buddhism, it says the sum of a person's actions in this and previous states of existence viewed as deciding their fate in future instances. It says destiny or fate following as effect from cause. So let's let's kind of talk more into it here. Okay, so Hinduism identifies karma as the relationship between a person's mental and physical action and consequence following that action. It also signifies the consequences of all the actions of a person at in their current and previous lives and the chain of cause and effect in morality. So yeah, so the effects of a person's actions that determines his or her destiny in the next um, incarnation. So basically, that all that's just saying is that whatever an individual does, whatever type of action that they have done, it's going to have a, a, a consequence to that. You get what I'm saying? So it's a cause and an effect. So whatever you, that's how I always say, you guys, whatever you put out, you always get back. So if you put out good, you get good back. If you put out evil, you get evil back, right? And sometimes, you know, with a narcissist, they may try to run away from their karma. So, but I mean, that you can't do that. <laughs> like, you know, God's everywhere, omnipresent. So you can't run away from that. Just like, you know, all of us were going to die one day. You can't run away from death. So, you know, same thing. You can't run away from karma, you know? So just always make sure that you are in the right. You make sure you're always on the good side of karma. And like I said, when you, you have to be careful though. That's why I said it's very, very important for you to heal because, you know, you're, you're not going to be in a position where you would be able to be a part of someone's bad karma. You get what I'm saying? Or, around a, a narcissistic individual unless unless you feel like you maybe you have to you know and in some cases i get it you know maybe you have to be around a narc parent a narc in-law or whatever other type of situation it may be you know you have to you know kind of adjust accordingly but if you have that ability not to be around them i always recommend not to just because of the fact of their negative karma you get what i'm saying and you know, luckily I have been in a position where I didn't have to be around a narcissist, which was my aunt. Um, you know, she lives in a different state and then also the male narc, you know, same thing as well as the borderline, totally different state. So, but not everybody has that luxury, you know, so, um, you know, you have to do what's best for you and what makes sense for you and your mental health. You guys get what I'm saying? So, but we'll definitely talk about this next week because I think it's very, very important, you know, because some people don't believe in karma, right? Some people don't believe in God. Like some people have different belief systems, but me personally, I've seen God in real life action. I've seen what God can do to individuals, whether it's in a positive and a negative, you know, and I stay on the positive side because, you know, God can really do some things like some things that are not pretty, like, and, you know, I think sometimes a lot of people think God is all like happy-go-lucky, sun sunshines and rainbows, but God can actually cause for people to lose their lives, you know, and it's based off of, you know, what their actions were, you know, there's consequences for your actions. So, you know, I've, I've seen it real life. I've seen it real life. Um, I've also seen blessings. I've seen what God can do 
with individuals that do good deeds. I've seen it, you know, I've seen both sides. So you just want to be careful um, at all times that you're doing good. Like you, you put out good, you get back good. And don't just do it because you're thinking like, oh, you know, let me just do this good because I know God's going to bless me. But like, you have to do it from the heart. Like it has to be genuine. You get what I'm saying? Like you just have to be that type of individual or that's, that's coming from your heart. It's not just coming because you want something from that individual. Like you want something back. Like it's with strings attached, like how things are with a narcissist. Like whenever, you know, maybe this could be it for another topic. It's like, whenever you're dealing with a narcissist, you have to always remember that it's with strings attached it's never because they love you or they care about you or anything it's all with strings attached you know so you just want to be careful about that so anyway i hope that this um, video was helpful and insightful make sure that you guys do give this video a like share and subscribe share it with a friend or a family member i would love to know what was you guys biggest takeaway and as always keep your power you guys love yourself Focus on yourself, control yourself, control um, what only what you can control. And if you cannot control it, then let it go, right? Because it's not worth it. You get what I'm saying? Focus on you, focus on God, focus on your loved ones, the people that you know, love and support you and everything else. Just let it go, let it flow. So anyway, I love you guys. I'm sending you so much love. I'm giving you a virtual hug through this video because I love you guys that much. <laughs> Um, so I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Bye.